Here's something I've seen a lot in business mm-hmm. too, because you, you didn't mention like capital or you didn't mention resources. It's the values. And Clayton Christensen, the Harvard professor, he talks about the values, your, your values as a leader and as a business matter first, then you stack on top of that the processes and the way you do it. Mm-hmm. And then the third thing is you add resources. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. that triangle and you stack at the bottom. Again, you put the values, then you put the processes, then you put the resources. And as a humans, it's the same way. We gotta have the values first before we go out there and start the business. Because when you have the values already anchored down, when you open everything else up, it's, 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 it's here. Let me show you how I got there. Mm-hmm. Let me show you how I done it. Let me uh, help you with this. And to me, that's giving back. I might not have all the answers, but I know how to maybe show you or tell you how to get there. For any of the Thrivers who are watching this particular episode, they haven't watched any of your other episodes, can you just explain or summarize how big of an impact mentors have had in your life? I wouldn't be here. Uh, because of probably, and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I would start back probably with my mother, who was probably my biggest mentor because watching her uh, raise eight kids by herself and uh, under those conditions of a leaky roof, no running water, no electricity, um, and never complained about it and just did it constantly. Found a way to feed us, to close us. We didn't have a lot. But we had enough to keep moving. So with her being my mentor, Ollie Jackson was uh, a huge mentor because my life could have turned uh, having a young lady pregnant who might have had the kid and I had to change a whole different direction. Maybe I wouldn't have went to junior college. Mm -hmm. Um, That could have just totally changed my life and I could have been in the streets. Who knows? Drugs, drinking, alcohol, robbing people, all that stuff was going on around my life. Yeah. And he was able to step in and tell me, this is what you can do. I would say to the Thrivers watching this too, that I would encourage you to, to try to find a mentor, uh, whether it be a virtual mentor, like the mentors we have on Thrive, we try to bring high character people that can mm-hmm. uh, provide you uh, life coaching as well as business tips and success uh, strategies. Uh, but we all need a mentor. Now, what's step one though to find a mentor? In all seriousness, if I'm watching this, I want to find a mentor. I'm, you know, I'm working there at the car place. I'm working at Starbucks. I'm working at Target. I worked on a construction site. Uh-huh. I can tell you on my construction site, we did not have any mentors present. How do I find a mentor? There's one there. There's one probably closer than you think. Really? Absolutely. I just think you have to do some soul searching. Hmm. You know, if I wanted to find someone that, uh, you know, I feel that need, I need some support. Yeah. I mean, to me, that would be a, a, a mentor. So you would go and say, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about doing ABC. What do you think? And feel your way out where you feel comfortable enough to, you know, maybe one of your coworkers, maybe one of your family members. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you have to go and approach people to find out. And you want to approach the right there. people, right? People who've Absolutely. already had some. I mean, you don't want to be, you know, the guy who's going through like his 17th divorce. You probably don't want to be asking him for marital single, advice yeah. or the, the, you know, the, the. You just don't want to be doing that, right? No, you want somebody that has some some, some uh, success in that area. Yeah. Um, because I've I've had my times of not having it, yeah. so.